Can I finch on the beat? Turn the headphones up, Ali. Here we go. I woke up this morning with my dick on hard. Didn't know why till I said fuck all y'all. Or fuck this world. Or I'ma fuck that girl. Good kid, man. City, watch my day unfurl. I put my life in these sentences. Fucking right, it's either that or life sentences. I'm relatives with Benjamin. I used to give a fuck about my luck when I was innocent. Now what the fuck is up? I'm at your neck like a penalty, nigga. I need that. Bitch, I need that. 24 acres in the mule. Best believe that. They say he got smoke like where the weed at. And everything you hope, bitch, nigga, we that. Pockets on Kelly Price. Back when it was 95. Buy a strap and do we cock it back when it's uncircumcised. Write a rap on how we just react with shoddy. Give you that and then we slide Do your hood three dozen times So it's good, I'm looking for a pedicure Pink pussy that pop Preferably the kind that don't speak Uh, my man's head on uh, Till she can't blink And her eyes get watery You got a part in me I'm so damn turnt Willing in a two-do With two hoes that follow me And you know West side right on time Tell them hoes kudos East side right on time They don't fuck with you though When my hood get into the money The pedal never broke Came a long way from the ghetto though, but west side right on time. Only thing for show, uh, east side right on time. Gonna do your dough, uh. I woke up this morning like fuck the world. Your hustle so twelve, man, I've been through hell. Now these motherfuckers is trying to tell me I don't care. Trying to tell y'all motherfuckers, look, I wasn't there. Third posted up on the block waiting for mail. So my niggas posted up in the county praying for bail. Could've got your boy everything, man, it wasn't cheap. Coming from a nigga just don't sleep. Shit for the week, got on my Malcolm X brain. Now I count the check, man. Cause every time I speak, you hear my Malcolm X pain. Now them doors go up on that land, they like Judah. Young, you like your bitches with ass? I like you out. First them bitches see me, I'm gone, I'm like Pluto. Plus I keep them choppers the same, they Mars Bruno. Brown bag full of cash, baby, MC, M. When they ask me my name, I tell them MC, him straight up. I'm so turnt, winning in the Tudo with two hoes that follow me, and you know. West side, right on time, tell them hoes, kudos. East side, right on time, they don't fuck with you, though. When my hood to the money, the pedal never broke, came a long way from the ghetto though, but west side right on time, only thing for show, uh, east side right on time, gunning through your dough, uh, all praise go to the most high, uh, all face turn into a drive-by, part ways from the streets at the fucking wood police guarantee, last nigga did that die, don't you, don't you, don't you wanna live where the eight? Top of that, melee, stumpy mouth and druggy mouth like a date rape. Daytona's building every corner while they say I'm so turnt. Willing in the two with two hoes that follow me and you know. West side right on time, tell them hoes kudos. East side right on time, they don't fuck with you though. When my hood get into the money, the pedal never broke. Came a long way from the ghetto though, but west side right on time. Only thing for show, uh, east side right on time. Gunning through your door. It was a dollar bill and hundreds in my teacher Asked my woman when she smiled I stick my tongue in Plus some cartoons and some cereal Snoop Doggy on my stereo Some British nights or LA gears With glowing lights or Perry Ellis jacket I would love a swap me full of Chevrolet and candy paint That's wet with Tammy Haunt the bumper Can I hump her? Papa tell me yes A DPGC concert And a DJ quick song on cassette Twenty years later I hate her on the fucking best I'm so turnt Willing in the two though With two hoes that follow me And you know Right on time, tell them hoes, kudos, east side, right on time, they don't fuck with you though, when my hood get into the money, the pedal never broke, came a long way from the ghetto though, but west side, right on time, only thing for show, uh, east side, right on time, gunning through your dough, uh. You are not rocking with Flopper Radio, the best in culture, the best in the world.
It's a pair called the Voice of Hip Hop. You tune in live for Lava Radio. I'm here live with the, the producer, man, Thelonious Martin. What's going on, dude? Not much, man. Not much. Can't complain at all. That's what's up, man. So we, we're going to get right into it, man. Um, How did you get into production? I actually got into production. Um, me and my homeboys had a little rap crew back in like middle school, back in Jersey. So I remember like one day I just like stayed inside when we just went like outside playing basketball. And I was like, maybe I can make these beats. I was fooling around garage band and stuff. And so around like the same time, I had heard um, Jay Dilla really for the first time on um, and it really just changed my whole perspective about music and really just let me know, like, I want to make people feel this way when they hear music. When I heard Dilla for the first time, it was on the Don't Swim, one of those, like, 15 second bumps, and I was just blown away, like, wow, music can sound like this. That really just let me know, solidified that I want to try to create these same emotions with music and touch people the same way. So around, like, 13, 14, I had my, like, my first live time to make beats, like, my freshman year high school. Oh, okay. So you've been doing it for a minute then? Just about. So what do you currently use um, for production as far as software and hardware? Um, still use my same laptop I've had for the freshman year. Um, the, the simple MacBook. Um, I use an MTD24 little MIDI drum machine and um, it's Logic. Okay. Logic Pro. Um, uh, yeah, I, I like Logic Pro 2 a lot. Um, I'm waiting for the for the, the new one to come out. I don't, know, I don't even know what's going to come out either, but I'm waiting for that. Yeah, man. Um, I still haven't got, I'm still using Logic 8. I haven't gotten around to updating anything. I'm one of those guys that's like, you still using what? What? Like, when I heard that, um, my Lotus is still using, like, Season 2.5. It's about to be out there and realize it's like, I mean, whatever you use, as long as you master it, it really doesn't matter. Like the little update comes in or whatever. It's just, you can master it, you got it. Right. It's all about the person. It's not necessarily about what equipment or software that you're using. It's about the talent and the, the dedication of the person that, that's using the, the stuff or whatever. Yeah. Uh, do you consider yourself a producer or a beat maker? Or, or is there even a difference? Um, I'm definitely a producer. The, the term for beat maker, which you label that, is kind of like, oh, you just make beats can't really produce songs and I at first I used to take the offense but now that I'm becoming more established as a producer and I just take it and make beat tapes it doesn't really bother me I really don't try to get those politics because like just let the music speak for itself like people can label you whatever they're going to as long as music is good there's no really debate in that preach if you can remember, man, what was the first beat that you sold? First beat that I sold? I can't remember it. <laughs> um, I think um, I used to try to sell, like my sophomore year, maybe. I think when I was like, I used to like beg people on Twitter. Yo, yo, let me just send you, I get an email to send you some beats. Yeah, I think around my sophomore year, I, I started like to take a little serious and I was like, Hey man, I'll tell you a piece for hundred dollars. I'll do some production for you for like a hundred bucks, whatever. <laughs> right. How did you uh, link up with Ruby Hornet and um, Soundscape Studios? Um. Well, me moving back to Chicago really helped a lot with most of my situations. Now, um, I actually linked with um, RTC for Ruby Hornet on a project for my school. He uses a class there, and so I did a collaboration project with the school's label and so we had this building relationship with him and doing a relationship with um, Mike over at Soundscape it was just like alright we're gonna break you in to be one of the in-house producers for close sessions and so now I get to work at the Soundscape and RTC is one of my managers and so it's just you know combining forces on like Voltron in a sense to just build up <laughs> each other if he wins, I win. And if I win, they win. Right. Those so kind of just you know tying the things together, make sure things look. Sounds good, man. Um, tell us a little bit about closed sessions and what you guys do. Well, closed sessions is actually one of my favorite things. Any anybody that's done terms of like original content, um, closed sessions, they'll fly in an artist. Let's say, for example, um, Action Bronson. Right. Put Action Bronson in, take them out, eat. Show Chicago, 
Kwan the Beauty Bar, local venue here. And then also, take it to the studio, and literally, the studio play it dead, do whatever they want. And so, we'll play the videos. Because so whatever production they want to get done, and they just make songs. And so, we're also filming the entire thing. Filming the entire weekend, the artists is here. For the time they hear the interview and whatnot. And so you get these short documentaries that really encompass like what an artist goes through to make a song. And also their first experience or an experience in Chicago. Once that life for that. Okay, okay, cool. So you guys give them the, the road treatment and just get in the lab and, and make the best music possible. Yeah. Uh, who has been your favorite artist to work with thus far? Oh man. Um, I would have to say probably. I mean, the last two artists I probably, probably worked with probably my favorite so far. Um, Action Bronson and Currency. Oh, okay. I mean, they're, they're real chill in their process and like how they just go to go to things that's real. You know, you know, it's, really, it's like real professionals. It's not the hey man, call call three or four homies or this or that. You know, it's just. Like it came in, it's real quiet, it's like, not real quiet, but like, it's real clean cut, professional, kind of like out of business, but it's still having fun with it. So for me, like, when people come in, it's just not about the work, and they have fun, perfect. Do you play any instruments, dude? Um, good question. I wouldn't say I stick with any instrument as a musician. Um, I did the thing. Like when people are like play instruments, you play whatever. Like I know how to play like my bass lines on my piano. I mean, I could mess around and play a shitty, a good crappy drum loop. <laughs> uh, but my um, ear, my memory is I would consider that like any other musician. You pull up a sample I shot up two or three years ago, I could immediately play the order, flip it a different way. I, I feel as though if you got samples and you can use the instruments within a sample, I mean, it's kind of like playing your instrument itself. So you, you would have to know what would sound right before to put together the things of that nature to actually be good, sound good to in the samples. You just can't tap up a bunch of noises and throw them on the beat and be like, yeah, I, I, was, I was sampling. There's an art to it. Right. I, I, think, that art, I think that art very seriously. Like yeah. I mean, I guess samples are my instrument in a sense. Yeah, that, I mean, that's true. It's just like a vocalist, their voice is their instrument. So your ear and your ability to combine samples, <clears throat> I'm sorry, excuse me, and sounds together to make a, 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 a dope beat is your ability to, to play an instrument. Yeah. Is there anybody that you uh, still get starstruck, like when you work with, or is there anybody that, that you would get starstruck over? As, as far as um, I probably think I don't know because everything for me is starting to become like full circle like I, I here's a good example I remember being a freshman in high school me and my homeboy Nyan he was like yeah yo yeah, check out this group that's packed in and so that's what to now I got a jump packed in when the next upcoming project like when I met the guys they were like oh snap you're the longest and I was like I y'all know who I am like was just like cursing your stuff and to some beats and stuff, but you know you never really take much to it. Especially my age, because like I'm, I'm 19, so to be working with these, I used to listen to, and they respect me now. It kind of just shows me that like these are just regular guys too. It's not like to me, like to them, I'm just like you know up and coming guy. It's not like oh look this little dude. Nah, it's it's a form of respect that's formed. And your music is so I kind of I kind of take everything and try to just keep moving on everything I probably, the probably only artist I probably really get starstruck over is um Kanye other than Kanye I'd probably be a little starstruck <laughs> yeah a little bit like him him and like Alchemist the like the cats I like started making music because of them those are the cat guys I'd be like damn like you one of the reasons I even do this Right. Absolutely, man. I'm, I, I, should, I, I think anybody would get starstruck of a Kanye West, man. And then yeah. um, Pac-Dev, they, they've been around for a long time. I actually have an interview with those dudes next week, so hopefully that'll, that'll go.